As long as you are all on the same network, um, that will mean that your OnSong devices can talk together, okay? But if you were to swipe down from the upper right hand corner of your iPad, you can see uh, we have our control panel. Again, I just swiped down from the upper right corner and we have our Wi-Fi icon right there. And in newer versions of iOS, you can just kind of press and hold and see uh, what you're connected to. So anyway, um, just make sure that you're on the same network. Yours might be called Linksys, yours might be called Home, yours might be called FBI surveillance truck. I don't know what you have your Wi-Fi called. As long as everybody is connected to the same thing, uh, that's all you have to know. Over here on my iPad, I have the song called White as Snow. And as you can see, Jeremiah has a beautiful life. He wants to be in Florida right about now. Exactly. Um, and let's say I wanted to share that song with him. Uh, again, he could be using the free version of OnSong. He could be using Pro. He could be a premium subscriber. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to come over here to this share menu. So if I tap on that share icon, you can see it a little more clearly now. Beam is going to take the song that I'm, I'm currently looking at and it's going to send it to um, everybody that has OnSong up and running. Uh, so I'm just going to tap on Beam and I'm gonna, it's going to bring up an interface here. It's going to show me a couple different devices. So I think over there, uh, these two devices next to me, I have iPad Pro 10.5, which is this uh, iPad in the middle. Um, and we also have 11, which is our 11 inch iPad Pro over here by Jeremiah. And all I'm gonna do is tap on share and it's gonna prompt me to, am I sure I wanna share these songs? Uh, so I'm gonna hit yes. And then they're gonna get some prompts on their devices, wherever they're at. And uh, they have an option. They can either um, choose always, which means that it's just gonna immediately accept anything that comes from my device. It's gonna kind of put me on, a, um, on a, a list that says, hey, just allow anything coming from Jason's iPad to pass. You can pick accept, which means that you do want that song, or you can just tap decline that you don't want it. So we're just gonna tap on accept. And then we get a little prompt here that says, uh, you have a new song and it'll say that we switched you to a set. Now, the one thing you can see, it does say that it expires December 30th, 2020, okay? So even though I have a new set that I can access and view on this iPad with the song, um, I, it doesn't end up in my main library, okay? So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, and that's to protect you as somebody who's sharing music because we don't want you to um, inadvertently share uh, potentially copyrighted songs without your knowledge of it. One setting that you can change in OnSong, that's, it's on by default, and I'll show you how to disable it with a big old asterisk next to this comment. Um, only do this if you're sure that you're allowed to distribute this music, okay? So if you are a church and you have the proper licensing, you're going through CCLI, let's say, um, then you're permitted to share music with your team. You're allowed to copy that music. Um, you know, per your license, okay? So you could turn this on. But again, like you kind of need to take some responsibility to make sure you're allowed to do this and you're not just giving music away, okay? Uh, but if we go into our utilities menu, tap on settings, and then over here on the left-hand side, we have menu settings. Uh, if we come up here, we see there's a sharing menu option. And down in the, um, down at the bottom here, under rights, we have the default settings, expire shared sets and loan shared songs. And what that means is when I share a set, the other user will get to look at it for two weeks, which means that that set is accessible and viewable on that device. But after two weeks, that set is going to be deleted and the song that was in it, okay? Um, we can change that. If we want that set to, to be there forever, we can set that to never, we can change how long we want that set to be around. Um, the other uh, option here is loan shared songs. So by default, when I send you songs, send, send anybody songs in this manner, uh, they will not appear in the main library, in your all songs list, okay? The only way to get to them is through that set that was shared. If I turn that off, that's going to now take that song from my library and share it to your library so that you can use it um, in sets and so forth, okay? Um, now, one little uh, contingency on that is if you do have the free version of OnSong, that is not, you will not be able to add songs to your library in that way. Um, so, but the, the person sharing their library needs to make these changes, okay? So if you've received a song 
that doesn't, you know, that you don't have access to, let's say, um, you can't change that. You, the only way you can change that is for the other user to send that to you, okay?